Alright, so guys, as of March 10th, uh, as you can probably see from the date right there, today is the daylight savings time for 2013. So uh, if you guys haven't uh, didn't know yet, you have to set your clock one hour ahead. So that means like if it wasn't daylight savings time right now, let's see, this video is being recorded at 7.41 p.m. at night. Well, then that means it would be 6.41 right now. Uh, and uh, daylight saving time is where I'm going to uh, talk about because I've always wondered what was the purpose for daylight savings time? But after I've done some research uh, just by searching the web with my iPhone right here uh, and, and yes, I actually do use my iPhone to search stuff. That's what it's for guys. It's not just for texting and calling. You might as well just get a feature phone. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, let's get on to the purpose of daylight savings time and my thoughts about it. Alright, so what is the purpose for daylight savings time? Well, the purpose of it, it's supposed to get more daytime during the day. Now, why do you need more daytime during the day? Well, simple. Uh, uh, alright, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it, there, there, there's no simple answer for this. In fact, there are multiple reasons for why uh, they have daylight saving time in the world. Uh, I mean, well, we got it from, so that way there are less accidents uh, on the road between cars, because you, uh, uh, that's an understanding point. I mean, you do get involved into more acc accidents uh, at night, uh, or for more tourism, uh, and what else? Oh god, oh god, my, my, my hair is falling out because I'm thinking too many reasons of why we have daylight savings time. What should I do? I have to relax myself. Very simple, guys. Uh, if you have two iOS devices like I do, have music play in the background while you're playing a game. In this case, I'm playing Real Racing 3. Now, what are the benefits for this? Well, first of all, you get longer uh, daytime, which is great, unless you guys uh, like uh, who live in a very dark uh, place in this earth. Uh, well, then you'll uh, you'll wish that night come in earlier. Now, what kind of symbol or sign does this bring out now that you got daylight ta saving time? Well, first of all, spring will be coming up soon. And then when daylight saving time happens again, you're going to set your clock one hour back from what I read online, uh, which comes around November. And then and th that's when well, fall is going to happen. Plus, I also heard that this is supposed to keep things in schedule, and that way you got more outdoor activities, as I mentioned, tourism, uh, and um, less, uh, less traffic accidents uh, happening on the road between cars, because l l let's face it, when you're driving a little sedan and, and then and versus a big SUV, and then, yeah, you, it's a fight out there. What's very annoying about daylight saving time, as uh, you guys might be wondering? Now, if you guys don't know what are the bad things about daylight saving time is, uh, where have you been? I can only think of one bad reason. One bad reason is that you, now you have to adjust your sleeping schedule. Uh, so like, since you set your uh, clock one hour ahead, you have to learn uh, or get used to sleeping one hour earlier. Uh, and then if you set your clock one hour back, then you have to... Uh, set yourself to sleep one hour later unless you still want to keep up with uh, the good schedule then sleep like you normally would uh, but if it's if you set your clock one hour back and if it says 10 o'clock uh, uh, make uh, make believe that it's mm, well 11 o'clock <laughs> oh my god that was such a bad example I am so stumped at this Ugh. daylight saving time look what have you done to me my question to you guys is, what are your thoughts about daylight saving time? Do you hate it, like it, or do you accept it or wish that you don't have to accept it because you think that this is an annoying thing to be happening on this planet or in this world, whatever. Alright, so before I wrap up this video, I want to make a, a one announcement first. Now, uh, for those of you that may have not known, or some of you actually do know, I have a Twitter account, alright? Twitter.com slash Ben Guy. Same username as you've seen. And on this YouTube channel that you are viewing this video from right here. Uh, well, uh, uh, my audience, I've noticed that it is growing uh, on my YouTube channel, which is great. But I feel like you you guys don't aren't, well, 
dude, don't recognize that uh, or don't realize that I have a Twitter account. Now, maybe you guys do, but yeah, you know, every video I do, I always have an annotation on the lower left hand corner saying Twitter, uh, colon, but at Ben Isel guy. Same thing, Instagram on the right hand, on the lower right hand corner, Instagram, colon, but at Ben Isel guy. Uh, well, now here's the thing. Now, you guys are probably like, oh, your viewers are going to see it, but they're just not going to decide to you know, follow you on Twitter. Well, okay, I get that, but there, are, uh, but there's also an option on uh, YouTube where you can actually push a button and turn off all the annotations. So I'm thinking that you guys are, some of you guys, I'm not saying everybody, I'm saying that there are probably some people out there that are just turning, uh, uh, clicking on the turn off annotation button uh, as soon as the video starts. Uh, but they'll, they'll pause it, turn it on, and then unpause the video again. So I just want you guys to be aware that you, uh, I have a Twitter account on there and you guys have a Twitter account as well. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben guy. Reason why I'm asking you guys to follow me is because in case if something were to happen, for instance, if I am lacking on one video on one day, uh, which would be Sunday, my What Do I Think videos, as well as Saturday on my Ben's uh, Tech Advice videos, well, then you'll know a reason why I'm not well, doing the videos. And of course, let's say if I have like a power outage or something, and you guys are probably like, hey, where are your videos, man? Then you'll, uh, if I have internet connection somewhere, then I'll immediately tweet out, hey, I got no power, so I can't do my video. So you guys will have to wait until this, 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 this and that. So uh, Twitter is basically just to stay updated on what's going on. And sometimes it's just random tweets and I'm sure you guys don't just want to uh, look at updates I'm sure you guys want to see a random tweets too and of course Instagram uh, same username Ben Isel guy you you can follow me there to check out the pictures that I have on there all my social media links will be down in the description below thank you so much for watching and you guys like this video click on the like button down below and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and yeah they like saving time I don't even know why I'm doing the hand gestures things, you know, because it's like, whoa! It's it's like you're on a roller coaster. All right, I'm not gonna bother you guys anymore. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.